if 3 raised to power 2x plus 1 minus 28 into 3 raised to power x minus 1 plus 1 is equal to 0, then s is equal to what? Hi everyone, welcome to my class. In this class, we want to find the value of x from this given exponential equation. If 3 raised to power 2x plus 1 minus 28 into 3 raised to power x minus 1, plus 1 is equal to 0 then what is the value of x but before we proceed please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe subscription is free please subscribe thank you solution we have 3 raised to the power 2x plus 1 minus 28 into 3 raised to the power s minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. Then this implies that we have 3 raised to the power 2x multiplied by 3 raised to the power 1 minus 28 into 3 raised to the power s multiplied by 3 raised to the power minus 1 plus 1 equal to 0. Then, remember, a raised to power m raised to power n is equal to what? a raised to power n m. Then, this implies that we have 3 raised to power s square multiplied by 3 raised to power 1 is the same thing as 3 minus 28 into we have 3 raised to the power x multiplied by 3 raised to the power minus 1 is the same thing as 1 over 3 then plus 1 equal to 0 then this implies that we have 3 into what? 3 raised to the power s all square minus 28 into 3 raised to the power s over 3 plus 1 equal to 0. Now what do we do next? We multiply all through by 3. Let's multiply all through by 3. Then multiply. All through by 3. This implies that we have 3 times 3, that is 9, into 3 raised to the power s square minus 28 multiplied by 3 into 3 raised to the power x over 3 plus 3 times 1 is 3 equal to 0. This 3 will cancel this 3. We are left with 9 into 3 raised to the power s square minus 28 into 3 raised to the power x plus 3 equal to 0. Now we say that let 3 raised to the power s is equal to t. Then this implies that we have 90 square minus 28t plus 3 is equal to 0. This is a quadratic equation. And let's solve this by using factorization method. Our constant value here is we have 9 times 3, that is 27. Then we need to find the two numbers such that when the product will be equal to 27 and the sum will be equal to minus 28. Then if you have minus 27 times minus 1 is going to give you 27 then if you have minus 27 minus 1 is going to give you minus 28 so meaning that this satisfies this implies that we have 90 square minus 27t minus t plus 3 equal to 0. 
Now let's factor this out. We have 90 into t minus 3 minus 1 into t minus 3 equal to 0. So let's see. 90 times t is going to give you this 90 square. Then 90 times minus 3, you are going to get minus 27 t. Then this is minus 1 times t is going to give you this minus 1. Minus 1 times minus 3 is going to give you this plus 3. This implies that we have 90 and then minus 1 and we have t minus 3 here, t minus 3 here. We have 90 minus 1 equal to 0 or t minus 3 equal to 0. Therefore, 90 minus 1 equal to 0, uh, t 90 now be equal to what? 1. Therefore, our t will be equal to what? 1 over 9. Or, we have t minus 3 equal to 0, our t will be equal to what? 3. But, t equal to 3 raised to the power x. This implies that we have t raised to the power x equal to what? 1 over 9 or t raised to the power x is equal to 3. Now from here, we have t raised to the power x equal to what? 1 over 9. And 1 over 9 is same thing as but 1 over 9 is equal to what? 1 over 3 raised to the power 2. Then this implies that we have 3 raised to the power s is equal to 1 over 3 raised to the power 2. Then this implies that we have 3 raised to the power s is equal to 3 raised to the power minus 2. Then the base are equal. This one will cancel this. s is equal to minus 2. Or from t raised to the power x is equal to 3 but 3 is same thing as t raised to the power 1 then the base are equal here we have this one we cancel this x will now be equal to 1 therefore the value of x are x is equal to 1 comma minus 2 that is the final answer.